presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We have a 98% gain in a year. And uh, I mean, you want 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Nothing like these short weeks. Make it a great weekend. Always do your best. This is a great weekend card. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best to me, take action on your ideas. You can have any ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, there'd be no, no manifestation, no results, and no rewards. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 103, NASDAQ off 39, S&P's down 12, gold contract down $8.80, trading at 1791 an ounce. You got silver down 31 cents, $23.83, 86 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck sixty-seven, sixty-nine dollars eighty-three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down ten ticks, trading one thirty-three oh five. The thirty-year off twenty-nine at one sixty-two twenty-one. And King dollar, King dollar is up one hundred and three ticks, ninety-two five eighty-two. Euro one eighteen, yen one hundred nine point eight nine, and the British pound at one eighteen to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps. Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that we had a failure in price and volume yesterday. Very subtle, but the bottom line is that that's what uh, GPO. G, that's what we had. You have follow through today. Now, what we have out here today is that you are going to have that expansion of volume. You know what you had yesterday. Bottom line. You did uh, 57 million, we're at 48 million right now. This is gonna have some major selling coming into the close right now. Now, the, the, the number to keep your eye on inside of the SPY is 447.11. You close inside that, that basically sets up down into 436. You, we get inside 437, that sets up going all the way down the high volume low, which is 421. That's where my, my take is that that's where we're going right now inside of the SPY. 421, we're at 447. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. That failed on price and volume also yesterday. Bottom line, you're going to have an expansion of volume out here today. Uh, yesterday we did uh, 29 million, you're already at 28.6. We'll probably end up doing about 40 million. So now, that set up, the first leg down is 368, and we're at 378 right now. We'll see how that handles. And what that is, folks, okay, that's getting inside the, the lower range. Now, let's go over to the Dow, because the Dow Industrials has let it down. You don't see this a lot. You know, bottom line is that, you know, um, in large corrections, I've seen it, which, which could get kind of pretty dicey here, man. Um, the larger corrections, uh, you know, Many times I've seen the Dow start correcting. The NDX don't even start correcting until like six weeks after the Dow. The Dow is definitely in a correction mood right now. Uh, what we've had, had with the Dow, the Dow basically hit an all-time high on August 16th, almost a month ago. Bottom line, we're at 34,758. And as soon as you go back inside the 3509, bottom line, that what does that set up? That sets up a high volume low, which we have out here at 33. 720, no, 33,271. So that's 1,500 points from where we are. And I think that's how this thing's going to shake out. It's going to be a high-end consolidation. Um, you know, now, now the 
reality is, is that because we haven't had a correction in so long, if that's where we go, you'll see some, like, probably heavy selling very quickly. And then you're going to get some nervous hands because of the fact that we've continued to go out into higher price on a continual basis. Gold. Gold contract out here. We had a low out here today of uh, 1789. We've had a high of 1796. You're trading out at 1790. You get a sideways move. Not much happening out here inside of the gold market. Uh, we take a look at the silver market and December silver right now. That's trading down 33 cents. We've done 36,000 contracts. That's going to be light contract volume. It's going to be interesting here, man, if we, uh, yeah, that's going into 67,000 as well as uh, 63,000. So you're going to need a lot more volume to get to lower price. The GDX, we take a look at the GDX out here. GDX is still pulling back. It hasn't caught a bid. Uh, bottom line, um, you know, we'll, we'll see if it, if it can catch a bid. You know, you're going into strength. They're certainly not sellers, but you don't have buyers either. Uh, what we have out here is that yesterday we uh, came down on uh, 20, 20 million, and you were going into 43. Today, you're at 11 million, so we'll probably do about 13, 14. You get that contraction of volume. What we have not got yet is a rejection of lower price. And you need both in order for markets to turn around. Apple. We go take a look at Apple out here. What you're going to see with Apple, Apple is off its highs now with volume. You know, Apple's down with 116 million shares. Um, it's going to make a difference, folks. Okay, the bottom line is that what you have with Apple is that you had uh, Apple was ordered to make changes to the way that it generates money from its app store in a ruling that chips away at the iPhone's market's grip on the hundred billion dollar market for mobile phones. Uh, this this is uh, this baby here that the federal judge said Friday Apple must let developers of mobile applications steer consumers to outside payment methods, granting an injunction sought by Epic Games in the year-long battle. Uh, bottom line is that Apple's going to be um, flipped out that they actually decided to take a fight with Epic, um, and you know it's pretty it's pretty wild that. Uh, Epic felt like they were strong enough to take on Apple. They only took them on. They won. And it's probably just the beginning of Apple's products, okay? Uh, problems, rather. Because the bottom line is that, that uh, there's no doubt what they have done is monopolized that whole app store in a huge way. 30% every $3, every 30 cents out of every dollar taken in. It's like such a joke, it's insane. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Let's see, the question about the, well, what happens with, we probably don't, the question about the ABC structure uh, and Apple. What happens is that we don't even have the, you, you take the very high as the A point, meaning 357, but you don't even have the A to be established yet. And, and where the question is, um, September 7th? Yes, it's September 7th, that's the question. Yes, September 7th, the high would be the beginning of it, no doubt. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials down 136. NASDAQ off 63. S&P's off 15. You can expect more selling. Come in to the close, folks. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 137. You get the Nasdaq off 62, S&P's off 16 and a half. And let's go take a look at the NQs for a second. So yet the NQs, we, you know, what you have here, you're only down 54, four points. That being said, though, we were up at 15,660. So from where we were this morning down, you've had quite a, quite a run. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, what, that's, yeah, it's 160 points. <laughs> uh, now, when you, when you take a look at this on a daily, it doesn't look that bad. But what you do have is this. More than likely, we are set up to jump a creek. Uh, small creek, okay, but the bottom line, you can see, is kind of set up pretty well. Um, trading for the last uh, 10 days. Monday morning, Sunday night, I suspect this can jump the creek. Um, and jumping the creek means you just gap lower. Inside the Dow Industrials, uh, strength versus the weakness, because you want to stay all over the Dow, understanding that the Dow has let us down, folks, okay? Uh, it's the first one to get back inside its lower range, so that's saying that higher probability it's going to go much lower. United Health is putting minus 57 points, Apple 31, Salesforce 22, Boeing 19. Strength inside the Dow is Home Depot plus 14, McDonald's plus 12, and Nike plus 7. Let's go over to Nike because what we ha Nike looks to me like it is setting up an ABC structure on the way down. You know, we went down with volume. You popped higher with volume. Oh, yeah, it's a nice setup. Okay, here, so check it out, man. So first off, Nike has, it's screaming that it wants to go to 154. And the reason I'm saying that, that's when they come out with numbers. That's when it gapped higher. We gapped higher from 132 to 154. That's great when you own the stock. There's no doubt about it. It's a disaster when you start pulling back into that area because gaps this big, particularly this big, folks, are like a magnet. They just pull them right into it. And once they get into it, it's the freaking black hole and you're going south. Now, what Apple did is this. Apple came off the high of 174. We got down with some volume to 159. You popped higher yesterday and didn't hold price. Today, what you did is that you got the 165, 66, kind of sideways move, a huge contraction of volume. That is saying that bottom line, it wants lower price. That's how this baby uh, works out. Um, the, what we will see is you will see more action inside the Dow Industrials and as, as Apple runs to lower price. 
Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness, Peloton, man, you talk about a bid uh, that's up another 9% today, $9.67 at 116. You got Match.com up 4.7%, Zoom's up 2.9, Activision's up 2.4. Uh, taken away from it, Intuitive Surgical's down 4.5%. You got OKTA off 4%, uh, Pfizer's down 36 and Trip.com is off 3.5. We go to the small caps. We take a look at the small caps. What we have with the small caps out here, you get light volume. This is cool, man. Okay. So inside of the small caps, what you have is this. The IWM is coming down, testing the lows that were generated out here on Tuesday, no, Wednesday. We did 25 million shares. You're only at 15, and you're going into the strength which was 33. So you got 17 against 33 right now. The reason that this is pretty cool is this, is that we, my take is that the IWM still wants to, you know, basically get up to these highs uh, of the 233. And what you have there inside of the small caps, and that's what we, uh, we saw the signs of strength last week when the gold and oil market was going, there's a lot of gold and oil equities inside of the small caps. So what does happen is that when the uh, small, when the market still goes down, if in fact the commodity stocks are up, that's where all those commodity stocks are in, and they go topside, and they go topside in, in a big way. That's how that baby shakes out. We go take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. Uh, what we have out here is that the 10-year note, Right, right now is down 11 ticks. This is dramatically lighter volume, by the way. Okay, so the bottom line is that this still wants higher price. We got a million contracts traded, and we're going against 1.4 million. So, bottom line, that still wants higher price. Uh, and I got to find this story because you have both the both the Fed. Uh, governors that we talked about yesterday that were basically trading, uh, they basically came out with a letter saying that they're not going to trade anymore, and, you know, that's it. Well, the bottom line is, is that uh, they not only were trading, um, i got to make sure I get the right person now. One of them, folks, was trading five-year and less bonds, okay? And you talk about having the inside wrap on that, okay, that's about as heavy as you can get, okay? Because the bottom line is that the, if the Fed controls one thing, it's the short-term rates. And he was trading um, an ETF with those five-year uh, minus, when I say minus, five-year or less bonds, okay, was uh, out here today. And, and that's pretty disgusting, man. They should just fire him. That's the real bottom line. The thing that's pretty amazing is that, yeah, they're saying that they did everything they were supposed to do um, as to what the regulations were for the Fed. But guess what? Evidently, there were, weren't any re uh, regulations that stopped them from basically... W wouldn't you just love <laughs> to be the person, number one, that you can put... You can vote on rates, short-term rates, because the, the, the Federal Reserve absolutely controls short-term rates. That you are the person that votes to control short-term rates... You are in the room when the votes are taking place, and yet you can still trade notes, okay? That's insane. That is absolutely insane. But, and it just goes to show that, uh, guess what? Um, there's <laughs> the, the Federal Reserve has, has some problems on its hands. There, there's no two ways about that. We'll see. Uh, it's not that uh, Powell can do anything about this, okay? But uh, public relations-wise, they, they get some big problems right now. Let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs out here. We'll go to Amazon first. Amazon's been trying to close this gap. It got up to the, the gap. The gap was uh, 3580, and we made it to 3549. You know, now what you have with Amazon, which is pretty cool, Amazon's backing down with light volume. So, you know, this can, this can back down with light volume, but um, that's still saying that. Uh, this still has some juice inside it. Google, we take a look at Google out here. What do we have with Google? Google right now, that's down with volume. Okay, so so now the market's getting a little worried, folks, okay, uh, about the aspect of antitrust, about the 
grip that the large tech companies actually have on business. And you can see it with Google, too. Google's coming off the highs. It's coming off the highs with volume. You're down 54 bucks. You've already done 1.1 million shares after making a high with 795,000. That, folks, is typical of larger corrections, okay? So I suspect what we're gonna see with Google, we're at uh, 2844, 2800 is the next stop. You get inside of 2800, then you're talking down to uh, 2550. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is right now down 155. You get the NASDAQ off 89. S&P is off 20. Let's go to our man Dave in Chicago. What's going on, brother? Oh, not too much. Just uh, getting to end of summer here, you know. Yes. Or feels like it, you know. That's good. You're going to get some nice fall weather there. That's a beautiful thing. We've been getting some really nice, you know, like 70, 75, sunny, big 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 white clouds, that kind of stuff. It's been really nice. Those big white weeks. clouds are gorgeous with the blue behind them. I know, man. I mean, the weather's broke here the last couple of days, too, so it's pretty pretty neat. I mean, this is early for us to break, so I, I'm hoping it stays that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When, when I say break here, it's like 85, but the humidity has gone away, there's no doubt, so it's pretty cool. That's cool. So, the OIH, right? 
Yeah, I was that I was checking in on the OAH, and I was I was listening to you, and I heard you talking about uh, skipping the creek. Which at first I'm thinking that sounds like a good thing, and then you said no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> so so uh, with regard to the general in, uh, indexes, like you know, I don't know if you talked about the Nasdaq or not. I thought I heard you talking about the um, the S and P and Dow a bit, but I don't know if you talked about the Qs or not. Yes, no, that's what I was talking about. That the cues look to me like they're yeah. gonna they're gonna jump the creek, right? So nah. you're down yeah. 192. Um, you're trading 377. I mean, it looks to me this is gonna go down to like 352 or something. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just uh, I know that the, one of the senior guys from Morgan Stanley has been calling for a you know index pullback for a while, and I wonder if that uh, if you have any feelings about that. If you think that's kind of is possibly possibly the setup with this the the down that we've had the last week or so. The, you know, we haven't got any type of correction in so long that I mean, you know, every everyone that is looking for correction, you know, including me, <laughs> is yeah. is like dreaming. Okay, um, yeah. you know, my take right now is that yeah, we're already in it actually. You know, and yeah. now what gets really intriguing here, right? Watch this, like. If you just listen to what you just said, mm -hmm. and this is where I think that this is where people are going to get really nervous. Like, we're still at highs, but yet I could hear it in your voice and how you said it, like, oh, we pull back, man. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. And it, and it feels worse than it really is. Well, huh? that's because, and this is what happens, folks, and this is, what, this is where we could run into a problem. That's because what has happened is that everyone's made so much money that everyone just keeps putting money in and parlaying, 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 right? And so what happens is that when the market just goes down a little, okay, the, the accounts get hit in a big way. Like, I remember when, when I used to do a lot of workshops, right? You know, years ago, people would always say, well, there's still plenty of people that say, hey, there's no problem with buying on the way up, right? Well, I used to do at the workshop the math on that, and the math on that does not work. <laughs> OK, you know, buying on the way down is what works. OK, and, mm -hmm. and I know people say, oh, you know, you shouldn't be doubling down, tripling down. Well, I always taught that if you're going to go in to buy something with a thousand shares, go in at three thirty, three thirty and three thirty and know that you're going to buy on the way down. Do you know what I'm saying? Because the math right. works. The math, you know, you could be in a great winning position. And then as you go on the way up, all of a sudden, the market can pull back 4% and you get killed. So, you know. Right. Yeah. Um, the OIH, yeah. I think the OIH is still in great, great shape. I mean, where, where our problem could lie, and I mean, I'm, I'm nervous, and it's good I'm nervous, um, is the aspect of if we are in a correction, are they going to throw everything out? Or inside of the correction, is the dollar going to go down? The commodity is going to go up, and we don't know. That's the real bottom line. Technically, the uh, it's still set up nice. The OIH right now, uh, bottom line is that you're you know, you're 182. You know, you, you had strength up there what a week and a half ago. That's saying that it really does want to go to, up to its highs again. And the, the oil contract itself is there. And in, fundamentally, inside the oil contract, okay, um, the bottom line is that we had a basically release oil from our reserve. China had to release it from their reserve um, because it's not basically enough oil right now. You know, and in our case, uh, the Gulf of Mexico, folks, okay, this thing got smoked in a huge way. One of, one of the rigs, okay, so you get a picture. These rigs get 275000 a day off the oil companies. One of these rigs, they think it's not going to be fixed until next February. And if that's the case, that's going to be a lot less oil coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. So... Yeah, they've been talking. You, if you watch it, well, some of the shows talk about like the rolling corrections going on. So, I mean, in terms of, so you think there might be a chance that oil and commodities uh, may get a pass, or they might be thrown out with the bathwater type. Most <laughs> of the time, this is there, the, so. the, the 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 problem that you're going to face, and I'm facing right now, is that most of the time when you get a correction like this, they throw everything out. Everything is down. You know, we'll yeah. see if that's the case, but that's 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 the problem. Yes. Okay. Okay, man. Well, thanks for your read. Have the, a good the, cool, the cool news is that it's it's sunny and beautiful out in Chicago. <laughs>
No, it is. Yeah, it's uh, it's really nice. Hoping we get an extended summer here. So totally, totally. Let's go to. Uh, hey, have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Thank Thanks, you. Dave. Okay, let's go to Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Andy, what's going on, brother? Tom, how you been? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Oh, I can't complain. That's a beautiful thing. So, TZA, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. So the TZA is the direction uh, three times um, bear position uh, inside of the small caps. Yes. Now, do you own this? You're looking to buy it. I played it a little bit yesterday. Okay. I'd, um, I'd stay right there. Just stay there, man. You know. Well, I already got... <laughs> I hit my price at the very last second yesterday okay. afternoon. But... um. Yeah, and, that, and that's why I wanted to talk to you about. I, I know that these things probably should only be played daily, but darn it, if it's not tempting to uh, just stay and, and, and hang in to this trading range, you know, that's been range bound like the IWM, it's just been a great play for the past number of months, you know? So it's hard not to stay in it. So that's correct. I was wondering what your take is still on these, on these uh, direction. So I do exactly what you just said. And when there's a trend, so what ends up happening, these are daily investment vehicles, folks. But the bottom line is that when you're in a trend like this, this one here is saying, okay, it can go to 35. I would, I, if I was in that equity, I would have stayed in it. I, I, st I stay in them. I, the bottom line is I'll stay in the trends. If you get a choppy market, you'll get killed, okay? But you get a trending market, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, man. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I mean, when I say stay in them, you're talking a couple weeks, not a couple months, man. <laughs> I've had people <laughs> email me with a couple months, and they really, it's sad because they really don't understand how these things work. Because if you get a sideways market, whether you're a bull or a bear, folks, they both will lose. That, that goes right back to the math again about going up. 10% and down 10%, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. But when you get a trending market, they're dynamite, man. There's no doubt. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Hey, and um, I'm thinking about finally making a first physical gold or silver purchase. Um, any recommendations? Uh, uh, for an equity? No, for actual physical delivery. Okay. So what you want to want to do is if you're gonna don't pay a big premium you gotta either buy gold bars um yeah uh oh, i got a guest coming up next you want to buy gold bars um you know you just don't want to pay too much for premium and you gotta hold it for a long period of time because that's how it yeah. works okay gotcha Tom. okay man have a, have a great, great one weekend. have a safe one stay right there folks come right back Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 215. You get the NASDAQ off 110. S&Ps are off 27. We get some selling coming into the close, no doubt. Our uh, guest today, folks, is R Richard Haruska. Richard is the executive director of the Thai Tampa Bay Network. This is a nonprofit organization devoted to entrepreneurs in all industries and stages. Their mission is to foster entrepreneurship through the robust Thai Network. Richard, welcome to TFNN. Thanks, Tom. It's awesome to be here. Uh, we appreciate it. So tell, tell us first off about exactly what Thai Tampa Bay is. So Thai actually is a global organization founded in Silicon Valley in 1992. The organization now has over 60 chapters worldwide, and we were founded locally in Tampa Bay in 2012. Okay. Uh, predominantly, the organization was founded by folks from the Indian community um, a good 30 years ago, but now the organization has grown to support all entrepreneurs no matter their background. So we do a couple key things. We fund entrepreneurs, we mentor entrepreneurs, we educate entrepreneurs, and we network with fellow entrepreneurs. So those are kind of the four key pillars of Thai Tampa Bay. Nice, and you've seen uh, quite a difference now since the two, two, 2012 you said you opened, right? Yeah, we sure have. So what's pretty fascinating about the organization, so I'm actually the volunteer leader and the president of the organization, and um, we just brought on a full-time executive director. So. The organization's predominantly been led by volunteers locally in the community. So that's what's pretty fascinating. But we really wanted to kind of grow to the next level. And we just brought on our first full-time executive director, Mona Patel. And she was just named uh, Business Journal's 2525 just this morning. Well, congratulations, man. That's great news. You know, and it, it's been, no doubt, really intriguing for all of us, the kind of run that uh, Tampa Bay has had the, these last uh, basically 10 years. Uh, you know, I, and it's intriguing. And I told a couple other entrepreneurs, you know, I've been down here 25 years, but I remember when Boston wasn't the Boston that people see right now. In fact, one of my offices was right beside uh, the guy that uh, Lotus One Two Three. Mitch had three people in his office. I had, I had 25 and he had three. You know, <laughs> so it, well, it's just really cool how fast things can go, right? When you have a support system. No question. You know, I've when I was an entrepreneur earlier in my career, I didn't have the uh, the benefit of having the ecosystem we have now. And there once was a time in Tampa Bay where maybe once a year there'd be a big company with a big successful sale of their company, or maybe one company would be moving moving to the area. And now it's like once a week. Uh, there's this company called Fast. They just moved. Um, you know, and you, you can't keep up with all the momentum. So now we were just named the top tech city. I believe by Forbes. So yeah, we're uh, I believe we're unstoppable to use a mantra of my alma mater, USF. <laughs> I like it. So let me ask you, you know, um, I saw that Dr. Patel is on there and what ends up happening, like in any big city folks, you know, I, I believe he was in the medical business, right? Made, sure was. A, made a huge, you know, entrepreneur, had a lot of patents. Um, it's really cool that you have someone like that and then they're willing to basically whether it's fund, or use their Rolodex, or get education going so that the, the next crowd, you know, meaning whether it can be people in their 50s, 40s, 30s, or, you know, 20s, uh, to get going, right? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, no question. So when I first became the volunteer leader and president, you know, him being the chairman emeritus, I just kind of thought he was more there for overall support. And I had the pleasure of meeting him one-on-one -on -one and was so gracious with his time. And 
he is very hands-on actually i get consistent emails from him and direction and call me one time with some advice so yeah he's been an unbelievable advocate for what we do um and a great supporter and him and his wife's their foundation is an annual sponsor as well and then also his son sheelan he's become incredibly involved in the chapter as well he actually spoke at our first in-person event that we had with commissioner weigel the statewide financial regulation commissioner and uh other cool news is we just got accepted to embark collective so in addition to having a full-time executive director, we actually have a place to call home now. That, so we're, we're that, trying to move on up, my friend. <laughs> well, that is awesome. And, uh, you know, with Dr. Patel, it's interesting, you know, before the crash, I actually was in his office interviewing him. And okay. I know I know you're talking about hands-on. And, folks, it's really cool, man. Like, picture this. When you have someone that's been so successful, and this guy's just right down to earth. I mean, like, it was just a normal thing saying, Tom, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I was like, man. And he had the he had the uh, he had all these real estate models inside his office when we were interviewing him. So it was it was really cool, man. There's no doubt. So so you ought, when we say Tampa Bay, it's, it's Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg, Clearwater. I mean, the reality anyone can come to some of your meetings, right? 100 percent. Yeah, we have an open membership for kind of all entrepreneurs. And then we have kind of an extra kind of, um, you know, special group called our charter members. Those okay. are what I call kind of heart and soul of uh, Thai Tampa Bay, very successful executives, entrepreneurs. It's an annual membership of 1200 a year. And um, excuse me one second. What's up? Okay. I'm on a live interview champ. So the, the, the joys of entrepreneurship and uh, having three boys at home while your wife had a meeting, you know, <laughs> that's good. I like it. I, I, that's, that, listen, man, that's where it's at. And, and to him, the big urgency was that the lesson for his basketball didn't show up yet. So <laughs> I love it. We, we I, that... no more problems in the day of COVID that we live in. But um, anyway, so yeah, it's um just been a fascinating run and um, the charter members, we have over 40 now and we're looking to set a bunch mark to get to a past the 100 by the end of next year. And one thing I want to share, Tom, with you and your listeners and as well is um, we just partnered with the Thai Atlanta and Thai Carolina chapters and came together. And our charter members invested over four hundred thousand dollars into women and minority entrepreneurs. Nice. So that's just another example of Thai doing its part to help the underrepresented community. And what do you find? Is there a certain niche that we're getting in the Tampa Bay area, meaning entrepreneurship, or is this kind of spread out? You know, that's a phenomenal question. So I used to be the accelerator director at the Tampa Bay Wave, and uh, now I'm a part of Embark Collective, and I support all the fellow entrepreneur support organizations. I would say health tech cyber and secure tech nice um, marketing advertising tech education tech is really growing as well so those are some of the financial tech is rapidly growing actually the wave just announced its new accelerator and fintech so you know those are some of the top sectors that come to mind but the great thing is so these entrepreneurs they've got ideas you know and there used to be a time you had to build a company in the other markets but now the access to capital and the support network is there. So yeah, we're seeing we're seeing tons of different models emerge. And we certainly have the place to live. We know that. Well, yeah, that you got it, my yeah, friend. <laughs> there, there's no doubt about that. Well, listen, folks, you can get you can get hold of them uh, by uh, it's tampa.tie.org, right? Yes. It's so tampa.tie.org, folks. Okay, check it out. Richard, this has been awesome. We appreciate all the help. We appreciate the education. We appreciate you uh, marketing Tampa Bay, man, and getting uh, these entrepreneurs going and helping them out, man. Yeah, and I would say for my friend J.P. Dubuque and the St. Pete EDC, who's a rock star, I would say uh, Tampa St. Pete is definitely the way to uh, further market it. So <laughs> there, there's no, there's no doubt, man. We, there's no doubt. <laughs> okay, well, man. For well, the time. Listen, you have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to having you on again. All right, thank you. Thanks, Richard. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. And you gotta love that his son calls about basketball folks because you know why because that's what happens in real business that's what's so freaking cool i mean that that's how you do business you can do business you can pick up the phone you can take care of your kids you can take care of your community you can do the whole bottle wax okay it's it's pretty easy you just have don't get uptight that's the real bottom line talk about getting uptight this market's getting a little uptight <laughs> the uh we have the dow industrials right now uh down uh where is she down 244 we get the nasdaq off 123 S&Ps are uh, down 32 stay right there folks come right back
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we take a look at the SPY, and you're going to see, depending on, you know, when I talk about this upside-down horseshoe, folks, okay, this is, this is a classic. The bottom line is that you take the horseshoe, put it upside-down, where on, if you're looking at it straight on, we're on the right side of that right now, and that's when that expansion of volume comes, and guess what? We're in the correction because we got that expansion of volume, um, and it's just so intriguing to me because this, this horseshoe, man, when this goes, it goes, and then all of a sudden the volume comes out, and it comes out big time, and that's what's happened today. We've already done 68 million inside the SPY. When I started the program, folks, we were 42 million, so you can imagine we've done... Um, you know, well, 52, 62, we've done 26 million um, in an hour. We take a look at the uh, NDX 100, the Qs. You get the same setup inside the Qs. Qs right now, they're down with 35 million. That's after making highs out here with, uh, what, we got, uh, where is it, 28 million. Same type of setup inside the Qs. Uh, bottom line, lower prices are coming at us. We go look at the Dow Industrials. Uh, the Dow had already got inside of its, its lower range. Uh, Dow set up to get down and we're down 256. In fact, ooh, let me do this quick because I got a feeling the Dow already broke the whole uptrend too. Come on, give me that line. We did. Okay, so the Dow also broke its uptrend with conviction. That's wide price spread, accelerated volume. We're at 34,600. That's saying we're going to 33,200. So you're talking about, what, another, uh, well, it doesn't mean we're going to stop there. It means that we want to go there. That is a high-volume low. 
So these high volume lows, if you have equities that have high volume lows, folks, protect yourself. Go look at them, protect yourself, because once these things start going, they go quicker. You know, the elevator always goes down faster than the way up. That's just how markets go. Uh, and in this particular case, um, you know, if you're listening when uh, Richard uh, from Chicago was calling, you could hear it in the voice, okay? The bottom line, I mean, David from Chicago, we weren't down that much, but you know, you could fear hearing the voice that it seemed that we were down quite a bit. And, you know, you get the gist of it. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe week weekend. Please come back and visit us Monday morning. Tommy kicks us off. Great show, 9 o'clock in the morning. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Yeah, look at him, folks. Building wealth trading in the